Simple question. How yes. do you justify a 1.5 billion budget at that time when uh -huh. uh, the Philippines cannot even receive tourists? We are barely welcome in any country given our rates of infection. And uh, we are embarking on this exceedingly expensive branding campaign of 630 million for international marketing when there are hardly any international flights. Branding and other supports of 705 million, country bank brand development of 100 million. Isn't this enormous amount better dedicated to simply vaccinating tourism workers mm -hmm. and other uh, employed uh, persons? Yes, Mr. Senator. Yes, please. Yes. Um, actually, for 2021, we actually didn't get 1.4 billion. It was reduced. Okay. To, um, um, it was only reduced to... Um, 1.2 million naman to dati, di ba? Um, it was reduced to... Ngayon, palaki ng palaki, naging 1.5 pa. Yes, but for 2021, it was actually reduced only to uh, 400 million. The branding, the branding was reduced. It was reduced by 1 billion. Um, Asik Howie, could we... Yes, but 1 billion is still a huge sum for for uh, marketing during a time there's hardly any travel. Uh, Mr. Senator. Yes, please. Um, 500, uh, we only got 400 million from the initial 1.4 billion allocation. So 1 billion pesos was allocated to the Bayanihan too. Yes, so 400 went to what, please? Uh, 400 million went to domestic promotions, uh, Madam Senator. So, uh, so because... 20, we were all in lockdown. Bakit pa kayo nagbabranding? Nakakapagtaka. Yeah, yeah just... just uh, uh, yes, there, are, yes. there are IATF citations also of uh, the Department of Tourism's double standard in the enforcement of lockdowns and rules under the guise of uh, branding and marketing. Maraming sinasabing Boracay City Gardens versus Tim Yap Party in Baguio with an alleged 8 million sponsorship given to the city and so on and so forth, including uh, the uh, Vicky Bello, siyempre kaibigan uh, natin na dyan, in uh, Bohol, all, uh, all given towards marketing and branding. Is this so? Um, Senator Aini, we didn't fund the Tim Yap. We didn't Sorry. fund that. That was, not, that was not the Department of Tourism who funded the Tim Yap in Baguio. But there was, in it fact, was not ours. The, there was, in fact, a sponsorship of 8 million through the LGU. But that was not through the Department of Tourism. Uh, but okay. We were not involved in that at all. But you should be thankful that the local government is taking the initiative, which yes. is my next question with the permission of Senator Marcos. Yes, yes, of course. No, I, I, I have no problem with LGUs taking the cudgels for tourism. Yes, I have no that. And my question there is, couldn't we encourage uh, the local populace to travel within their destination? When I go yes. to Subic, the beaches are full during weekends. Yes, Mr. Chair, they're now traveling by land. In, you know, in, in, yeah, in Baguio, we were the ones who donated their um, Visita program, their online registration system, also for Region 1, where the tourists um, log on there so that um, they can visit. Because um, all they, can the, be what? they can be what? I'm they sorry. Can visit. They have this online registration system. We've been donating to all the LGUs. Um, so that the tourists log there and they find out what are the um, what are the uh, condition uh, protocols that are needed for them to be able to enter an LGU. Um, a lot of the destinations, though, pwede na magbukas for tourism, they don't want to open. So it's at the end of the day, that's still the LGU. I think the question is the LGUs are quite yes. confused, but by what they consider a double standard by DOT of enforcement for IATF rules. Because it's a Boracay City Garden, Timyap's party, Boracay fake tests, okay. But in other in other instances, the DOT has not expressed any um, mm. any um, uh, condemnation or sanctioned any we, of. Uh, of course, we 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 were mis um, Senator Aimee, We were against the Timyap party. First of all, we did not fund it, and then we came out strongly against it. And okay. every every time there's a mass gathering, we are always against. We are always in. Um, implementing health and safety protocols. Pasensya, I have to ask oh, these oh, questions. Kasi hinahap yes, oh, oh, tungkol dito, no? Yung, uh, oh. yung tungkol kay Scarlett Snow Bello, no yes. face mask, no face shield, Vicky Bello, uh -huh. travel, hindi ko nga alam, eh. ibinigay lang to sa akin eh. 
Nung June, nung, no, nung May 31. And this is all no, charged to branding to the tune of 1.5 billion. Medyo masakit in a uh, time na... Well, in, hindi po 1.5 billion ang ginastod siya. Uh, in fact, they're... Excuse, excuse me. Wala excuse po 1.5 billion. The Secretary of Tourism, please wait for the Senator to finish. Sir, Then we want to have an altercation in the airwaves so that we can understand one another. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, for unruly behavior. I'm not just no, trying... No, you're not unruly. The resource person has got to listen to the questions because this is our time to question the budget so we can help them adequately. So if I were the secretary, I would listen to the questions. And it, these are not criticisms, all right? Take that when you come in here, especially on budget time, these are not criticisms. These are just suggestions. And of course, sometimes you cannot help but, you know, uh, make some pointed remarks because if that's not being done, the Senate has the right to ask those questions and to guide you. And all I'm saying is in the interest of the quorum, we may have a quorum, but if we do not have the quorum, it will not go anywhere. All right, go ahead, Senator. Uh, so uh, everybody's admonished to listen until the question is finished, and then you may answer. Go ahead. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, my uh, good Senator uh, Gordon. The problem is that uh, we are all looking for funds to, uh, Uh, finance our vaccine and treatment allocations. And uh, the uh, stunning amount of 1.5 billion for branding becomes increasingly difficult to defend. I think this was the same issue that we encountered last year for which we have not received sufficient uh, explanation. In addition, over the past year, which has been tough for everyone, most especially for the DOT, I am sure, A great deal of criticism has arisen, both on social media and elsewhere, regarding the so-called branding exercises uh, involving many personalities, but also uh, alleged double standards and failure to enforce IATF rules and other health protocols. So uh, in order to defend your budget, including the 1.5 billion in plenary, I think uh, we need an explanation from the secretary. Yes. Mr. Ms. Senator yeah. Aimee? Yes, yes. 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 Uh, first of all, we did not fund the team YAP. That was, we were not involved at all. In fact, we gave out statements and we even uh, issued a notice to explain to Manor regarding that incident. We had, we were not connected to the team YAP incident. With regard to the Scarlet That's Snow Bell, explain with, to me, it's just, uh, yeah. it's just yes. that the question keeps, uh, keeps coming yeah. back. Okay, but um, at, at least uh, thank you for uh, clarifying this, Senator Aimee. I, I'd like to put it on record that we were not at all involved with the Tim Gap incident. Now, with regard to the Scarlet Snow Bellow, um, May 31, the, the IATF already agreed that travel would be allowed for no, uh, no age restrictions. Uh, Senator Gordon, Senator Aimee, we're always pushing for travel with no age restrictions. Because Filipinos travel as a family. Well, the failure to so, use a mask, face no, shield, um, exercise. Senator, I, mean, so I can assure you that we were wearing our mask and face shield the whole time. <laughs> that was only one picture with Scarlett. One picture and we were even one meter apart. But all the other pictures, we were all wearing our masks and face shields. We are very chairman. I'm so yes, sorry, man. it's be exceedingly uh, controversial. Sorry, pati yung Bohol trip, bakit question? Bakit daw binayaran yung uh, napakamahal na Bohol trip in the time of COVID? All right, uh, Senator Aimee, uh, with yes, your permission, I'd like to call uh, I'd like to call Senator Binay. Go yes, ahead. yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, go ahead. Depresensya ng Secretary Berna, but I saw the pictures. Yes, You're, I saw. I mean, there were violations that you were not ma- wearing masks There was no social distancing. And in mm-hmm. fact, I I also don't agree dun sa pinapush ng DOT na we will allow children to travel but we don't allow them to go to school. <laughs> diba? So parang, uh, and then I saw pictures pa of um, yung Lobok Choir, which are kids. They're performing in front of sila Scarlett's Nobel when mm-hmm. those kids cannot even go to school But they can, inf- you know, but they can perform in front of tourists. So, parang, mm-hmm. ma- parang yung sense of priority natin, oh. eh, nawawala. And I think 
ang isang issue ko pa kasi is every time na you open a certain destination, ang nangyayari po kasi, Mr. Chairman, sumusunod, nagkakaroon ng surge dun sa tourist destination. Eh. For example, I think Ilocos, when they opened it up, um, hindi ata Norte, Sura ata yun. When they opened it up, a few Please weeks after, me. a few weeks after, ho, tumaas, I mean, nagkaroon na naman sila ng problema with COVID. So baka nga, we need to spend a lot on how we will open it right in the new normal before we before we start promoting it. I think yun yung, yun yung isang point na gusto i-emphasize din ni Senator Aini in this discussion. Yeah, perhaps, uh, for example, spend a little bit on vaccination as uh, suggested by the Secretary in several press releases on tourism workers first before uh, we embark on all these branding uh, gimmicks. Um, I think and then, can I siguro siguro just add, aside from test, from aside from vaccination, kasi nga, diba, with this new variant, parang nag, ano eh, nagkaroon na rin ng, uh, we need parang more extra uh, ano ba yan? protocols. For example, yung mga, yung baka dapat meron silang access to free uh, COVID testing, diba? Regularly, merong, merong, may, may assistance si DOT dun sa mga health workers natin. And then, assuming na may mag-positive dun sa mga tourism workers natin, baka maganda din, may assistance na pwede ibigay si DOT uh, for them to volunteer and quarantine themselves. Kasi nga, ang nangyayari ngayon, ayaw nila magpa-test kasi nga, hindi sila makakapagtrabaho, diba? So, hindi natin na na a-isolate ka agad yung, yung, yung problema. So baka isa yun dun sa dapat pag-aralan uh, on how to, to open it, right? So so we can sustain it. Kasi nga, ang nangyayari ngayon, parang hindi siya sustainable eh. Di ba? Gagasos tayo sa promotion. Tapos magsasara din lang pala kasi tumaas na, nag, tumaas na naman ulit yung COVID. So it, it nagiging visual cycle yung close open, close open.